Tomorrow is Sunday. I've told this sad story before today, but it is Monday. So happy Monday, guys. Today we have a super fun one. It's these adorable little um, wedding favors, uh, gift boxes, you know, party favors, whatever you want to call them. And they're using the adorable little pillow cut file from Makers Gonna Learn. It's one of our amazing 3D cut files. And we have like so many for you guys to choose from. We're gonna make three or four today, so buckle up and uh, enjoy the ride because we're just gonna have fun talking to you guys about fonts, about ribbon, about print and cut, about using um, these 3D cut files. We have a cool Cricut Maker tool that we're using today. We're gonna be engraving. Um, so let me know what you guys have going on on this beautiful Monday. Um, it's a little chilly here. We, we've all been complaining that it's been pretty cold. Becca, you've been cold today. We've all been cold. Guys, I'm never cold. Like, never, ever, ever. And the our new office has two different thermostats, so the upstairs is controlled by one, downstairs is another. Which I like because in big old <laughs> houses like this, heat rises, yeah. and it's really hard to get it to a comfortable temperature. And generally, like, I don't touch anything, but I'm telling you, my nose is running. It's so <laughs> cold up here. And when you go downstairs, it's literally eight degrees warmer. And I don't know why we just haven't turned the heat up up here, but I go I, around the corner and look at Tanner, and he's in his office, like, wrapped Bunch up in a blanket. And I'm like, yeah. But guys, <laughs> listen here in the live stream room uh, we need to do a, yeah. a stream to show you guys like walking around this is a very small room we always shut the door for live streams for you know noise reasons we want everybody else to be as productive as they can but this is a small room we have a lot of lights in here all of our windows are boarded up so we're we're hot it gets <laughs> hot in here quick so we usually like to um freeze our butts off until we get in here and then we warm up real quick. So me and Becca, we're pretty comfortable. The guys out there, I'm sure they're cold, but we're, we're doing pretty I'm cool. grateful to be warm in here with you. <laughs> yes, and live. So yes. hello everybody. Um, lots of fun stuff to learn about today, Miss Jill. Yes, there is. So if you guys are brand new, first of all, welcome. Let me know if you are new so that we can welcome you formally. Thank you all for tuning into the live stream today. Again, it's going to be a great one. If you don't know who we are or what we do, me and Becca are craft producers that Maker's going to learn. It is an amazing die cutting community. So if you guys have a Cricut Maker or an Air 2 or a Silhouette Cameo or a Brother Scan Cut or any of those fun machines you guys need a community like makers gonna learn we have over 3,000 digital cut files and we're gonna be using a couple of those today and if you would like to be a best value yearly member you guys also get amazing fonts free commercial licensing you guys get some e-courses all of our members do get those files they get access to a members only Facebook group amazing printable guides so guys without further ado we will go ahead answer some questions get into some supplies today show you all what's happening in design space um, but I just wanted to let you know that this is an amazing membership to be a part of. Becca's been throwing out the link in the comments. It is in the description below. If you have any questions, any questions at all, feel free to ask. That's what we are here for. Let's see here. Did I, what have I missed, Becca? Anything, anything? Larry says, are you all a business here in Morristown or just out of your house? We have an office space Yeah, on, this is a commercial <clears throat> building. Yeah, on, property. on uh, East Main Street. Yeah, so we're here in Morristown. Hello, neighbor. <laughs> we're awfully close here. Um, let's Everyone's see. teasing us with their weather report. Someone Yay. said it's going to be pool time in an hour, which uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little jealous of. Can can we come? Yeah. Can uh, we come, please? Guys, it's not cold here. Uh, it's no. just cold in our house. It's almost 60, so it's almost, yeah. it's almost time. Like, if I was here and we weren't going live at 1.30, I would have the windows open in the craft room and be listening to some music and getting crafty. It's perfect weather to have those windows up and to be enjoying outside. This morning, though... It was in the 30s, yeah, was. and I wasn't too happy about it. So, Debbie said 60 degrees in Michigan today. Heat wave. <laughs> Heat wave. Heat wave. You guys are hilarious. I this is why it. I love asking what temperature it is there, because sometimes 70, they're like sweltering, and the other times 40, they're like, oh, I'm not even oh, cold at all. Fine. Yeah, I don't like, what? <laughs> so, guys, again, we're going to be making these adorable little... <clears throat> I honestly, I, I know that this is like a like a pillow pouch cut file um, type deal, and I know that these are used a lot for wedding favors and party favors. Um, so we decided to make it a cut file, and 
I, I forget exactly what I titled this. I think it was kind of like, uh, you know, party favors, wedding favors, because that's kind of what this is. And mm -hmm. with what I teach you guys today, you can personalize it to whatever gathering you're having, whether it's just one for all the moms in your life for Mother's Day to give out to them, or if it's, you know, a whole bunch of them that look the same for your wedding or something like that. Um, so we're going to make those today. So I'm going to go through the supplies. Some of the most used supplies we do have the links to in the description below. And if you ask directly, um, Becca might have the time to pop in that same link as well. Um, so it's going to be a fun one. I'm excited. There's a lot to do today though, because like I said, we have um, vinyl, we have print and cut, we've got cutting and um, using an engraving tool on some of this plastic here. We have a lot of hot gluing and cutting and things. So it's gonna be a fun one, guys. Um, okay, I'll just go ahead and start. So the first major thing we are using today is craft plastic. Now there's a lot of different brands, a lot of different kinds. We have used this graphics brand. So it's graphics brand craft plastic. We get the 12 by 12 sheets and it's super important to get the correct millimeter. So we have point 007 millimeters. Now, um, years ago, I was testing this product to use with a reusable stencil for my Cricut, mm -hmm. and it did awful, and I realized it's because I bought the wrong thickness. So I bought like 0.25, which was way thicker than this, uh, it was ridiculous. So I got to buy this and then I did a video and then Miss Becca actually basically kind of perfected it because it had been so long since we had done it and we had a lot more skills and tips developed over the course of, you know, that first video. So if you haven't already, go check that all out on the um, channel. It's a great one. So graphics, craft plastic, 0 0.007 millimeters. That is what you need. Um, also, we just have some like craft paper here. Again, links for some of this stuff is in the description if you don't have them already. This doesn't have to be eight and a half by 11, whatever you have will work, um, but make sure that we'll get in your printer. So if you have like a 12 by 12 sheet, you might have to cut that down to size, which is totally fine. Oh, let's see, Becca, you just cut me right off if I miss anything. Okay. Also, uh, we have some gold vinyl here, masking paper transfer tape, the works here. You guys know we love all of that good stuff. We also have some of these six slits, six slits, little chocolate <laughs> candies. I know I'm Southern, so I'll say it again. These are six slits. I think I have one of the canisters down if you just can't understand me at all. Um, we have the white ones and some gold ones. So depending on what function you're having, there's some with rainbows in there that Becca did when she created an awesome little unicorn party for us here. Uh, not for us, that would be adorable though. She created it for uh, Makers Gonna Learn. And there's little rainbow cichlet, cichlet, so you can choose that or you can fill it with whatever candy you want. Um, but these are clear, so make sure whatever you, candy you put in it is pretty. <laughs> so we also have a hot glue gun. This is our Lynn Lily hot glue gun from Surebonder. Um, unfortunately, this is out of stock and China has not even given us a date when they're gonna be able to bring it back for she us. She did post yesterday um, on Instagram. If you guys missed, uh, there was a post. But anyway, Lynn, um, said the end of May is when it's looking. <gasps> Yay, okay, okay. Well then, uh, I did link to the other Sherbonder win that was like this model. It is not nearly as cute. However, if you cannot wait till the end of May, you can get that, again, link in description, um, or you can wait for Sweet Lens because this is like the cutest little thing in the world. We use this all the time. Next, you will need your ATG gun. This is an amazing dry adhesive. Um, if you guys have any other dry adhesives you like, that's fine. I would not recommend any type of glue or anything um, because I, I don't wanna say it's a tight fit, but these have to fit perfectly together. And having to hold it there and wait till the glue dries, I don't think would um, be that fun. Um, okay, also, we have our quick swap housing for our Cricut Maker along with our engraving tip. Now, the tip number is 41. I have linked this in the description. That's the last time I'll say it, I swear. Um, we just get so many questions. I wanna make sure I am giving to you guys as much as I can to help you get crafty. Uh, so yeah, this is just the quick swap housing. This is what uh, your double and single scoring wheel has. Uh, just about all of the new 
tips and blades, if not all of them, work with this quick swap housing. So we do love that. The blade is only like 15 bucks, which is great. We're gonna be using that today along with our fine point blade. Uh, we have a standard grip mat, really any mat is fine. Uh, you will need a printer. We have our Canon TS8120 over here, ready to print. We actually already printed it just in case you guys know how I am. If there's gonna be a craft fail anywhere, it's totally gonna be in the middle of the lab when I'm trying to print something. So I already went and printed that out so we don't have to worry about that. However, any inkjet printer will work with Print and Cut. Um, yeah, we have this Canon. I think they did stop selling and or making or both. Uh, so the newest one is the Canon TS9120. Same printer, looks a little different, better model, probably works better. So that link again is in the description. Okay. Other than that, the last thing, the most fun thing is all of this gorgeous ribbon. So uh, for this project, depending on your wedding colors or your party colors, you will need a ton of different um, ribbon here. So we have went to Hobby Lobby and gotten a ton. And before I dive into exactly how much that is, Poor Becca has been tippity tapping away. Becca, what can I take off of your chest? Larry is just asking what we do here. Larry. Um, yeah, he asked about Larry. our retail space. We do not have a retail space nope. here for shopping. Nope. Um, and then he said, what exactly do you do here? So we do well, lots of things we here. Do all kinds of stuff. There is lots of companies umbrellaed under companies and fun umbrellaed on fun. Uh, Tanner, bless his heart, does a million things. Thankfully, me and Becca are not stretched so thin. That is true. And we are a part of Makers Gonna Learn, which again, like I mentioned, is a community just for die cutting crafters. So if you have a machine or anything like this, me and Becca have to do with that. We will learn new machines, learn new techniques, learn new skills in order to be able to share those with you all and help to you all to grow and to learn and to be educated with your machine it's our goal here at Makers Gonna Learn to make sure that you all are inspired, educated, and ready to go with all your questions answered and all of this fun knowledge in your brains to be able to use this machine or any of your machines to the best of its ability. So we like to train you all on a bunch of different things. We like to make fun crafts for you guys live. We like to pre-record hack videos to try and give you guys all the knowledge possible. Becca's over on the uh, exclusive Facebook group a lot and she plans on being there a lot more in the future. We, we, we basically have the best job ever if we mm -hmm. want to get down mm -hmm. to it, but I don't really want to gloat. So. <laughs> in addition to all of that, you know, of course we do all of our organic videos, like Rachel said, our lives, we test out new um, tips and tricks and DIYs and all of that fun stuff. Um, and then we also, I'd spent, I'd say spend at least half of our time, um, creating content for the new courses and things like that yes. that we develop so uh, like design make sell yep, or design our make summit sell. summits um, are a big one and three times a week we do launch different cut files and mm -hmm. fonts with our membership um, so whenever you join us, if you choose to join yearly, that is also the best value to your guys. Yearly members save $48 a year being yearly than monthly and they get more. But anyways, I'm not going to make this a big sales pitch, I swear. <laughs> uh, just for Mr. Larry, um, we do also release three times a month. Uh, the first Thursday of the month, we release requested cut files, which are accumulation of all the cut files you guys ask us whether it's occupational or hobby related really anything like that so me and becca create lots of projects for that release to get you guys inspired show you how to use uh the different files and things like that um the third thursday of the month we launch a curated cut file collection so we have trend spotters courtney is our incredible uh creative director here and she kind of puts all this together and works super hard about you know on it so again me and becca create projects for that then the third Third one guys fonts come out I think fonts are mine and Becca's favorite thing to work on I know it's definitely my favorite thing to work on I enjoy working with fonts a ton so we do a lot of you know production of the crafts here and just general you know general crafting here so yeah okay okay I think uh, Miss Diane question what are you making the boxes out of so again this is the graphics craft plastic um, Becca can throw that link out whenever she gets a minute and then there's also uh, the link in the description below with that information as well um yeah so that amazing craft plastic is what we're using <clears throat> Um, let's see. There's a couple of questions about um, the videos on changing your ATG gun sure. and then um, one about cleaning the mats and so 
the answer to that is we're not really sure it's going to be soon but we're not sure if we're going to do that as like a member only type thing in facebook or if that's still going to be an organic originally it was on tanner's list of stuff to do for organic videos but yeah. we love those titles so much we may steal them and do them for We're member only. steal them. I don't yeah. know. Because, again, Tanner is a busy, <clears throat> busy guy. And me and Becca would love to create that content and get it out for you guys, regardless if it's here free for everybody or if it's a member perk. So we'll have to... Uh, We'll have to give you more on that later. But the answer is soon. Soon. <laughs> soon. And then we do have a video on how to clean your mat, Miss Carol, but I know what you're asking about because we do have a video coming out on three different ways that falls right in the same category as what Miss Becca was saying in that we will probably take that title from Tanner and uh, give that to you guys sooner rather than later. So yeah, yay. Okay. Now onto this gorgeous ribbon. I kind of went crazy in Hobby Lobby, inspired with all of this good stuff. Again, mm, think so about think about the colors, think about the textures that you're gonna be using. Are you gonna be using a lot of greenery, a lot of kind of pastel colors? Are you gonna do bright and polka dot, you know, or keep it simple with just some twine, whatever you wanna do. Uh, speaking of, I think I needed twine. No, I don't think I needed twine. It, you can use twine though. <laughs> so we have a bunch of different things here. This is Baker's Twine with gold trim, which is gorgeous. All of this came from Hobby Lobby. All of these um, awesome little ribbons here. This is just decorative trim, natural is what it's called. So that has a great texture to it. Um, these two right here are gorgeous. Again, it's just decorative trim, but they're just, the colors are beautiful. Um, and as we're creating these, I will of course show you guys these on the second camera. We have some uh, ribbon that's great, really thin, really thick, uh, kind of, powdery pink ribbon. This stuff's really cool. It's kind of like a vine. Love that. And then this is my favorite. I found this in a roll and I'll show you guys on the second camera later as well, but it's almost like little leaves. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love the way that it looks. Um, I paired it with this and it went beautiful. So, um, did I miss anything else? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Larry, we do love 651vinyl.com. We used to get our stuff, uh, you know, from the craft stores and things like that but their prices are incredible and they ship so fast now they are down because of corona but you can place your order so you can <clears> keep <throat> adding things to your cart you know and all that good yeah. stuff i encourage you to take a take a quick look and look at the price difference per like square inch Ooh. of like Gosh. even uh is it mainstay no, 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 no. What's not mainstay? Good Lord, that's Paper. A right yes, thank you. Paper Studio. Paper Studio. Paper Studio, which mainstay. is quite a, quite a bit cheaper. Whoa. I don't know where my brain is. Sorry. No, I love anyway, it. Anyway, Paper Studio is quite a bit cheaper than Cricut, um, but it puts a 651 vinyl puts that even to shame. It's absolutely insane how much cheaper it is, and, and the quality is superb. It's so much better. Caesar Easy Weed <clears throat> and Workhouse 651. You cannot beat them. You can't. They weed beautifully. They do better with a duller blade. They just, they, they cut better all around. It's, it's crazy, but we absolutely adore it. Okay, enough chit chat. I know you guys are ready to get crafty. Again, don't let this design space um, overwhelm you because I'm gonna just show you an overview and then we're gonna take it step by step so don't get uh, nervous or anything. Um, and guys, ask your questions as soon as you have them because once we move on to something else in design space, again, we have four or five things to tackle here. It will be hard to go back. So if you guys have a question with anything, if I talk too fast, if you want me to reiterate something, let me 651 know. 651 is shipping again. Everyone's saying no, I got uh, emails. Woohoo! Yeah. I have to give them a mass order. Yeah. But guys, it comes to your door in like two days. Oh no, like Nikki worry. says Paper Studio Vinyl sucks. I have to 100% disagree. I actually like it better Becca than Becca does like Paper Studio. No, I prefer 651, but I really like Paper Studio Vinyl. Anyway, are those six lits? Sherry wants to know. Sherry. <laughs> they are gross, Sherry. My kids won't even eat them. Gross. But they're listen, disgusting. they're cute though. Yeah, they're pretty. And if you want something on your wedding day for a good picture, that's fine. In my mind too, you're paying enough for that day. I don't, I didn't do favors for my wedding. It was a DIY wedding. I, I was going to do some little, those little s'mores packets that said s'more love. I was going to be all gushy and a, a Pinterest bride. Um, but then the day happened and the night before it rained and it, so I didn't do anything. But let me tell you, I fed them. And I feel like if you come and you, you eat, feed them that's, good. that's, that's cupcakes you gave them were good. <laughs> mm. I do love my cupcakes. Yeah, then they're, they're really good. good. So, you know, teach you know what I gave as mine? What? 
<laughs> what was your wedding papers, Becca? A magnet with our picture on it, and it had our new address on it. Which, guys, I got married before Wait, Pinterest was popular. I love that. Yeah, but it's so lame now. I right? all, listen, no. Think about it. I always, newlyweds and everything, you want to send them a gift or whatever, I never know. Don't I have to the text address. them, what's yeah. your address? Yeah. And then it's awkward. Then they think something's coming. I don't know. I love it. Okay, anyways, Becca. Yes. Let's head to the design space. Perfect. And again, Becca will cut me off and uh, allow me to answer any questions as they come. But again, guys, don't get overwhelmed. I know this looks a little bit crazy. So we're going to go ahead and hide this right here. This is our finished little box here. Um, is this the finished one or is this the fin That's our finished one. I'm going to hide him. Okay. Now I'm going to start with this guy. So this guy's is the cut file. I'm going to go back here and show you. Here are 3D cut files on Maker's Gonna Learn. We have a ton of them. I'm mean, excuse my mouse, guys. You, you yeah. know how it is. It's a bit rough. I'm going to do the best scrolling I can. I don't know how you do that. I have to use the up and down buttons. Which I cannot is scroll. Rough. I know. I'm just trying to find the pillow. Just want to find, there it is. So here's the actual pillow cut file. And what we did different with this, which I absolutely adored, is that instead of having the actual cut file photo in Design Space, or excuse me, in Maker's Gonna Learn, we had like finished pictures of them, which made them a lot easier to see and things <clears> like that. So this is what it looks like in Design Space. You guys know how to download a cut file, oh, you know, uh, upload a cut file, so we're not gonna go over that today. Um, but once you upload the PNG, make sure you use the PNG, this right here is what you'll see. Um, so you're gonna be confused about this stuff. Don't be, let me explain it. So this guy right here, um, over to the left, this kind of dark gray panel here is if you wanted to cover these. So in that case, you wouldn't want these to be clear necessarily. You could use this panel uh, in like a pretty pattern paper or something and cut that out and then cover the panels here. Um, also down below it is looks kind of like a like a strip of paper it's got two lines in it this is also for wrapping it so if you wanted to write like thank you and wrapped it you totally could do that as well um crystal rachel can you link the video that tanner did using the cricket joy um crystal which one which, um yeah. miss becca would be the one doing that for you she is my hands today well over and there. she did ask earlier but i forgot to ask which one she wanted that's okay listen crystal you <clears> did it right <throat> if we ever do not answer a question or you think we missed it just copy paste it just like miss crystal did it is the uh best way for us to see that question again um but just let us know which one you're looking for miss crystal and of course we will help you out so if you want those things, if you want the panels covered, if you want to wrap it, that's fine, but we do not. So we're going to go over on the right side of the screen to the layers panel and select on our actual file. And we're going to go ahead and delete the parts that we do not want. I don't want this part. So instead of clicking like a pillow box itself, you can just go down here and you know click a part of it separately. Now, we're not done here. You might think, okay, we're done, that's great. But if you look, both of these say cut. Okay, now again, we get this question all the time as far as what, um, what do I need to do? It's cutting it all out. It's not, um, you know, perforating it. It's not scoring it for us. So you have to do that manually for all of our 3D cut files. Um, and that's the same for any cut files that are not Cricut brand, you know, whatever from Cricut Access. Um, that's what you'll have to do. So go ahead and click just the layer that uh, you know you want to be score lines. But guys, I'm gonna throw you a curveball. Usually you'll go up here to line type, you'll see where my mouse is at, and you will click score. However, since we are using this graphics craft plastic, I'm gonna have to let you guys know that will not work. That setting is not gonna be strong enough to even touch the surface of that craft plastic. So we're gonna actually change this today to engrave. So uh, we're gonna be engraving first and then uh, cutting that with our Cricut and it's gonna work great. So that is all we have to do for that one. Just make sure that once you're done, you simply attach those together and then you can still see over here if you have this selected, you can see over here on the layers panel, uh, engrave and cut so you know you have done the right thing there. And we actually wanna go ahead and size this while we're here. And we want to um, make this six inches. So if you want them as large as we want them, ours is six inches wide. Now again, you guys can make this as large as you want to given the limits for uh, design space. Uh, but this is how wide we want ours. Now we do have this one completely finished right here, I'm pretty sure. 
Yep, right there. So we can just kind of erase whichever one of these because we do not need it anymore. So there's our finished pouch, guys. Easy as that. Now I'm going to talk to you about these cute little tags. So these are tags for Makers Gonna Learn. And let me show you uh, how I uploaded these. So I'm going to click Upload Image, Browse. So you download this from the site, easy peasy. I'm just going to search tags here. And these are Christmas tags. So there it is. I'm going to open her up. And let me show you what I had special. So you can see here, there's these are print and cut, of course. So they have like um, lots on it and little trees. And there's a little like reindeer guy. We're going to click complex and continue. And let me make this a bit smaller so we can see. Um, again, you can see here they're Christmassy. They have like holly and things on them. Well, if you just go ahead and click continue, this is where you can choose to do it as a print and cut or a cut image. We actually want to upload these as a cut image today. Um, so that's what you'll have to do and click save, but we don't need that today because we already have it in here. So this is what they'll look like and we do not do not need all of these. So what we have to do is contour the ones that we do not want out. Um, and then we'll duplicate and I'll show you guys how to do that. But we only want two of these. So I'm going to go up here to contour. And I do not want, look how little this is. Guys, goodness gracious. Uh, do not forget to ask questions. Uh, Miss Michaela, I see yours. Uh, no, ma'am, you cannot do this exact project on the Air 2. However, feel free to use that uh, Cricut brand uh, craft board or something like that that you 100% can cut with your Air 2. Just because we're choosing to do it with this plastic this way does not mean you have to. Feel free to do it another amazing way because we definitely want you all to be able to do these. So the only ones that we want are those two. Um, so now we're going to click off of it and duplicate. Now there's two ways you could do this. Uh, Miss Becca, I think Miss Becca's go-to way is to slice, which is super easy as well. But for some reason, my go-to way is to contour. Now again, we love to mention there are so many different ways you can do each and everything in design space. And this is one of them. Now you could go up here and say, okay, I, I want to take this one out and make it separate. You could go get you a square, just like this, cover that tag up, select both of them and click slice. And that way you don't need that guy. You don't need that guy. And then here is your tag and they're separate. Perfect. Just like that. Just what we wanted. Um, or you can go through here, duplicate it. And I know that from this guy, we don't want him. So you'd go hide, hide. And then this one, you want to keep the opposite. So you go to contour and hide, hide. Then boom. So either way you want to do it, you come out with the exact same thing. It's totally up to you uh, which one you want to do. And we only need one set of these today. So we're going to use this set up here. Um, so this one, I, just, I saw this on Pinterest. I thought it was adorable. Uh, all they did was there was just like a little heart sliced out of it. So as you can see here, this is the finished one that we're going to be doing. And I wanted to do the same thing with him. So I went and got me a shape. Guys, do not forget to ask your amazing questions if you have any. I'm going to make our heart. Um, ooh, my mouse is doing some weird things here today. I'm going to make my heart a little lighter so we can see it a little easier. I'm going to come in so that we all can see it better as well. Okay. And I'm just going to size this little heart here. Just to fit right perfect on the bottom here, just like that. Perfect. And now if you're like, well, I wonder if this is actually in the center. Well, you can go ahead and select both of those layers. You can see them in the layers panel there selected. Go up to align and click um, align uh, center horizontally. And it was pretty much perfect. Yeah, no, no surprise there. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Stop. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm actually going to bring it up a hair. So I'm going to use my um, arrow keys so I'm not kind of messing with <clears> the you know, it being perfect. So now I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to slice it out. Easy peasy. Slice him, slice him, erase those. Boom, guys. So there's our adorable little uh, tag right there. So the next one we're going to do is we're going to work with this guy. So we actually have a finished one in him. I'm going to remove him. And I want this guy to be flipped. So I'm going to go up to um, flip and I'm going to uh, flip him wrong way, wrong way. I'm going to flip him 
uh, horizontally on one of those little tags about the end. Now we are gonna be using a font right now and the font that we're using, oh my gosh, it's so weird. It says Arial on the side, but guys, the fonts that we're using today are number one, Grecian Dreamer. Um, again, these are in the description. I'm actually gonna make this the same light gray so we can see it a bit better. I'm gonna go to our text here and just type out thanks. And then I'm gonna go up to our fonts here, click on that, go to system fonts and then all, or excuse me, search. And I'm gonna type in Grecian Dreamer. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over. Not you, buddy, I need him. Thank you, thank you. And I'm gonna make this huge so that we can kern it. So um, if you don't know what kerning is, it is what allows you to be able to move all of these uh, letters in towards each other. Uh, because if you're working with any kind of cursive font, you have to do that. So again, there are several ways to do this. My favorite is to start out with the letter spacing tool up here. I'll letter space it down until it gets pretty darn close. And then if you can see that H and this A down here, those are already touching, but some of the other ones aren't. This is where I have to go up to the layers panel to the top and click ungroup. And that's when I just kind of manually bring these in a bit. Um, yeah, so anyways, it's again to each their own, regardless of uh, which way you want to do this, you can do it either way. Um, yeah, it's just depending on how, how kerned you want them. And once you have them the way you like them, you can go ahead and size these down to fit well onto our little guy here. And usually you would have to weld, but guys, this is actually going to just be on the tag here and we're gonna flatten it. So you don't have to weld if you don't want to necessarily. So again, here's a little trick. We're gonna be uh, printing the word thanks on craft, this craft paper that we have. So this right here, you can't even tell, but the back is the, the same thing as this right here, except it's white. Now, because it's white, um, that means that it won't uh, print any kind of color onto our craft paper. Um, however, if we left it this kind of grayish color, it would actually print it like that on to this craft board, which we don't want it to do. We want this craft paper to just look like craft paper. So we have to go up here and change it to white. Now, um, again, you can center that up by just selecting both of those and you can click uh, center vertically and it messed up my letters a little bit. Of course it did. That's why you'd probably want at least attached before you did that, guys. Um, anyways, I forgot that I um, ungrouped it. I thought I just, whatever. Anyways, anyways. Um, then after that, just select them both once you like how it looks and hit flatten. And that's it. She's done. She's ready to be printed out and cut. Um, but we have our other one here that's ready to go. And now guys, I'm gonna run through this rather quickly because it's super easy. This is uh, just the word enjoy, and this is using the uh, font Barefoot Joanna. I'm just gonna go cap locks here. Wow, if I could spell. Enjoy, and uh, then we're gonna go up to our uh, text box here, our fonts here. Barefoot Joanna. Come on now, little mousy. There we go, see how easy? So easy. And this is actually great guys, because you can see right here uh, is the exact size we want our uh, pouch, our little pillow. So now you can size it right here on the pouch and know that it's gonna fit it perfectly. So we're gonna stretch this out just to about right there. Just make sure you size it to your pouch and look how good that's gonna look. It's gonna look great. So that's all she wrote for that one. Now, have I missed any questions? Yeah, how is everybody doing? Is everybody good to go? How, how much fun are we having? I hope a lot. Sarah, Sarah says, I wish the fonts worked on my laptop and cell phone. Why do they not work for you? Uh, oh, yeah, let me know. <clears throat> now, um, on your cell phone, it could be a little trickier. I've never used my cell phone for that. Becca has for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think, I mean, they're 100% supposed to work. They, they're allowed to work on your iPad, your desktop, your laptop, whatever you know, whatever you have, your iPhone. So let us know what exact problems you're having. Okay, so now we're gonna get to making these. Uh, this guy right here has not been flattened yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and flatten him. And then this is just gonna cut out of gold 
vinyl so I'm just going to kind of switch that color to brown there. This is just going to cut out of the craft card stock cardboard or paper and this is going to cut out of our craft plastic so it's all going to cut out differently. Now um, I'm going to hit make it and I want to show you guys what's going to happen. So right here you see we have our tags here. Now I want to make I think 10 can fit comfortably on this piece of paper. Yes, it can. So we're gonna make 10 of these here. Now, um, I clicked apply all and you can see what had happened. Down here, it applied 10 to all of these. So that's not what we wanna do. Now what you can do is go ahead and continue and just print these and then be done or you can go through here and um, cut out 10 of these, which I don't, I don't particularly wanna do. So now guys, we're gonna cancel her. You can go up to thanks. If you know that 10 can fit on one piece of paper, you can go ahead and duplicate this nine times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this enjoy, however many you want, you can cut that out. Um, same with their little tag here. This is just gonna be cutting out on eight, um, eight and a half by 11 um, paper there. So now we're just gonna go ahead and click make it again and show you guys what I'm talking about. Now see here, that looks good. Now, if you go down here to um, this guy, I just wanted to teach you this as well. It's a little trick for material size. Now, uh, for this guy and him up here, but this guy doesn't recognize it, we only have paper that is uh, eight and a half by 11, and it's this printer size craft paper. So you can go down here in this little drop down menu and click eight and a half by 11. Now, how cool is that? Don't you love that? Okay. And then here you can see our little vinyl. Um, I'm not sure how much of this we'll be able to get to today. We're gonna hopefully cut most of this out for you. Um, I have our tags already printed. I will cut out some of our little heart tags and cut out a pouch and cut out our enjoy. So we're gonna go ahead and click continue here. And it's gonna go ahead and connect to our maker. And as you can see, a lot of these are kind of crossed out. And you're like, well, we're, wait, why is this crossed out? Rachel, what happened? So this is crossed out because we chose for this layer to engrave and it cannot just engrave on any material. So I know what you guys are thinking. I don't want um, any miscommunication here. We are using craft plastic. However, we are gonna be using the transparency setting to cut this. So go ahead and select that. It's just called transparency. We're gonna give more pressure and now we can switch on over to, I think the, either the Cricut camera or the top down camera, whichever you wanna do, Becca is fine by me. I'm going to um, put that away. Now here's our mat and here's our engraving tip. So we're gonna take our engraving tip and pop this into the clamp in here um, because that's what we're gonna be using first. It's telling us that it's gonna engrave first. So now, we're gonna be getting a piece of plastic and they come kinda in between these sheets of um, tissue paper, which I think is great. Keeps it clean, keeps it from sticking to each other. We're just gonna lay this right down on our little Cricut mat here. Just like that. Great. I'm just gonna pop this in the machine and it is going to um, allow me to press that flashing cricket button and then it's going to go ahead and tell me when um, it's done engraving which is very quickly it doesn't engrave for long guys so I'm gonna move some of this stuff over and I wanted to show you this beautiful ribbon guys look how pretty this ribbon is so we have a ton of it um, again we have some really thick ribbon that has little polka dots on it we have some that look like uh, little pink vines here um, and then these are oh, my favorite probably. These guys that look kind of like lace trim, which I think is beautiful. So we have both of these here. We have a darker one and then like a more kind of off-white lacy one there. Oh, you know what? What? I had the, my blade. Oh. I switched them out. It's not all the way down. What? The blade, the fine point blade. Oh, that's not even the right clamp, Becca. Why does it say install the fine point blade? Because it just engraved first and then it's letting us know to switch them. It I'm engraved. sorry, I only saw this and I thought it wasn't working. No, here. that's okay. Fine. Switch them over to this. Ignore camera, me. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're, so you know, I'll show them what's going on. They're probably like, what are, the, what are they doing? Okay. So, guys, let me show you. Okay. So totally this, my issue. No, 
this just engraved for us. Yep, so the sure engraving did. tip is in our quick swap housing here in uh, clamp B. Um, but what I like to do so I never uh, forget where my fine point blade is because the uh, you know the table's so messy. I put my fine point blade right where the pin goes, <laughs> right here. So I literally I stick it right here, and Becca's like, Rachel, what that's, is that what you're doing? doing? <laughs> so. I let it use the uh, engraving tip there, and now it says install fine point blade. So all I have to do is pop this guy open, and then pop our little fine point blade right into place there, right there, and then move our quick stop housing. And then it just wants me to press go again, and now it's going to cut it out. And it doesn't take any time, guys, at all. So we used our little engraving tip, loved it, and now we're going to be able to let this cut. Now I also don't want you guys to panic because this. Is gonna scare you because it's all gonna come up off the mat. But listen, this top of plastic is very hard to clean cut right through. But I've probably made 20 of these and they all uh, work the same way. They're all gorgeous. So let's Melanie go ahead. Melanie asked, could you use acetate for this? So go ahead and switch this to the B cam or above head, overhead, whatever. Um, it's I don't think acetate is thick enough. Yeah, I think so too. Now, again, this stuff is thick. It's pretty darn thick. Well, that candy's heavy. The and candy's you need heavy. It to be thick. Yeah. Now, depending on what you put in it, of course, if you're going to put something super light in it or something like that, um, you don't have to use this thick of. Which, in my opinion, it's not that thick. Like this stuff, it's really not that thick. Mm. Um, but anyways, this cut through. Good question, though. I wish we could use. Um, but like you said, if you were putting something in there that yeah. were like light or like feathers yeah. or whatever, yeah, if you're putting, there, you could yeah. do acetate. Beads yeah. or something like just string. I don't know what you plan on this, but for these sixlets, like they're not, they're not too super light guys. And the worst thing in the world was to be to make a hundred of these and get them to your wedding destination oh, and then fall apart because uh -huh. we don't want that to happen. So here is it cut. I know you guys can just see so much. Um, so I'm just going to pull this up off the map. Just like that. As you can see, it's all still one piece, or as much as you can see. However, if you just kind of bend it a little, it just snaps. So, I wish there was something where they could see this better, but I know they can't. Oh yeah, I think they can see it. Can they? Okay. It just will snap right out of where it needs to go. So, it's like it cut perfectly. It just needs to be snapped out. Snap. Just like that. Oh, this edge is giving me trouble. And if it gives you trouble, you can get your scissors out, guys. Get your scissors out and just cut along the line that's giving you trouble. I know you guys can't see anything. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Okay. So with our excess, there's not really a ton you can do with that. So we just choose to uh, throw it away. We don't really do anything with that. Now you guys could save this to make uh, little tiny reusable stencils if you wanted to go that route. You totally can. Um, so we're just going to throw him away. And we have three plus this one that we just um, made beforehand. You're welcome. Um, but in the manner of trying not to waste time, I'm going to go ahead and just cut one of these little tiny tags. Now in a perfect world I would cut way more than one. However, um, I do not want to spend too much time on all of this stuff or else it'll be a two hour live stream. So I've got our craft paper on the top left corner of our mat here and all I'm going to be doing is changing our um, material around. So I'm going to go back up and I'm just going to click on um, medium cardstock. I'm just going to give default pressure and then I'm just going to let this cut out while I assemble some of these. Now it's going to cut in 0.2 seconds because it's really small and in which case then we'll just go and cut our vinyl and all that good stuff. And there we go. Okay, so to assemble these all that you're going to need is your actual cut out pillow guy here and then your ATG gun. Now in hindsight I know how important it is for you guys to know what I'm doing. And I know you can't see well, so I do just already apologize about that. But uh, 
There are marks all over this. I know you can't even see it. Maybe if I get in the light correctly. You can, can you see these little tiny lines? Mm -hmm. Okay. So there are lines here that are cut very well with that um, engraving tip. And all we're going to do is use our fingers. Guys, I tried to use a bone folder. It just didn't work because you just really need your finger for it. Um, and you just go in those lines and just like pinch. Just pinch it all down. Now it does get tricky like on the, on the tops where the flaps are because instead of folding it down, I just start in the middle and just kind of pinch, you know? And then the craft plastic just starts to kind of bend with you and it'll kind of just do what you want it to do, which is bend in that little, uh, you know, make this little, this little flap here for us. So that's exactly what it'll do if you, if you pinch it. And all we need is one strip, guys, that's it, of this ATG. And then we're rocking and rolling on one of these after you get all of these uh, pushed down and all that good stuff. So I'm going to, keep on going with this guy and this one's already done which is amazing so I'm gonna go ahead and move him while we're, while we're doing this in the hopes of multitasking here I would have cut more out promise but here's our adorable little tag look how cute so there's the tag that we're gonna be using and now our next um, layer is just our vinyl here I have some scrap gold vinyl that I'm just gonna lay here on our mat now don't worry, I know the whole entire thing looks a bit rough, but it's only going to be cutting on like the first tiny bit of it. Um, so I'm going to get my craft knife and cut this off so it doesn't um, really mess up our machine here. Just going to cut off a bit here. Love our true control knives, guys. They're the best. Becca, have I missed any questions? Um, just a couple of comments about holding the... Um pillow box over a piece of cardstock or something so they could see it but then other ones said they could see it so um well, that's well. about it um oh there was a good comment about um uh, maybe using the extra from um craft plastic for a shaker card you can use it in a shaker card so that's a good idea uh other than that i don't think you've missed on anything. okay come on now <sighs> Sorry guys, my, uh, I forgot to change my setting on the Cricut. I was just like, yeah, you can cut that out. And didn't even switch it back. So note to self, keep switching it. I'm just gonna go ahead in back here and pop in that we are not in fact using cardstock and that we are in fact using vinyl. I'm actually gonna give this less pressure. I know you guys are gonna be shocked about that, but I um, just changed the blade in order to cut our uh, craft plastic to the best of the machine's ability. So that is what's going on there. Megan said Troy's X-Acto knife is better than the True Control knife. Have we tried Troy's? I'm pretty sure it's just an X-Acto knife. What I'm do you like sure about it, Megan? Like I want to know. Like it's I, just like, I haven't even looked at it. Got a little, you know, like a clear cap on it or something like that. I don't know. Um, that's that's fighting words, though. I'm telling you. Now, we love 681 Vinyl. A lot of Troy's products we have and we use and we adore. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I love a lot of his stuff. 681 Vinyl, again. Um, he's got some really neat tools and things like that that I love. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, the trick, Cricut True Control Knife, that, she's, she's pretty perfect. Okay, so guys, I got her all bent up. I wonder if you guys can see this or how well you can. So I have her um, ready to go. So now all I have to do is to attach one side to the other with one strip of ATG. So I'm going to be applying it on this panel on the inside. Um, excuse me, not on the inside, but like folded that way. So I have this thing. It was usually out like that. I have it folded in. Please let me know if you're following along with me. I'm going to add ATG. Just a couple of those strips of ATG. And now I'm just going to fold this over. Don't, don't even worry about the ends. Just worry about the middle. One thing at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself. Just one thing at a time here and fold those ends perfect okay so now once you have those adhered it's really starting to take shape here so now you can kind of designate the end that you want to be open to fill with your uh, little candies here so i think i'll go ahead and push this guy down like so good good and now that that one of them's down you can fill this with candy so um for 
to make sure you guys can see it a bit better, I'll go ahead and fill this guy up. So we've got a little scoop here. I'll fill this up. Those are candy. And guys, I filled all of these before I decorated them. That's just word to the wise there. And you might um, start shutting it and notice that some of the candies aren't going to stay in place. If so, dump them out. Just make sure that you have enough to fill. You don't want them to be kind of rattling around in there, if that makes sense. So there's one done. Look how cute. We have one done. Okay, I'm going to set our candies to the side here. Unload this mat. Look how teeny tiny, guys. It's so little. So we're going to quickly weed this and add some transfer tape to it. Um, burnish. You guys know the drill. Cut off the excess. Absolutely. Remove that. Get in here with our weeding tool. Ooh, that weeding tool needs to be replaced. Great. Look you there. Easy as pie. Then we're going to get some masky paper transfer tape. Link in the description. And I'm going to cut us off a piece. Tanner ripped it the last time. My OCD cannot handle it. Okie dokie. Trim us off one. Guys, I eyeball it all the time. This Half the time, it doesn't even fit what I cut it for. I need to say. It was <laughs> oh, halfway it's, it's on. It's a sickness. <laughs> I, I really shouldn't do that. But this one, I just barely, I just barely made it. So we're going to burnish again. Then I'm going to remove this um, going with gravity. So I'll flip my mat over. Peel it up from the mat like that. And then the very last thing that I have to do if it went up there to it, yep it did, yay, is our little tags. So here are our tags. I already printed them out like I mentioned. I'll go ahead and place these in here. And the other setting I used was medium cardstock, so that's what I'm going to switch us over to um, just like we were using last time. I selected the I've already printed button because I have already printed medium cardstock. Um, I'll leave it on default pressure. Yay. Okay. Pop this in there. Guys, this is the last thing we have to cut, and then we are on to decorating these amazing little pillows here. I keep calling them pillows. That's kind of what they are. It's a they pillow. Are. Yeah. So I'm going to let him cut out. And I actually already have some pre cut just in case. So here's what they end up looking like. I think they're stinking. They're adorable. Cute. So I love that. Again, that font is Grecian Dreamer. Mm, and then the font we used here was a uh, barefoot Joanna. So we have both of those there. And Rachel, how can they get access to those fun? Well, I'm glad you asked, Becca. Now I think is as good a time as any to switch over to the camera, um, the share screen once again, and I'll share with you guys just a little bit about um, the awesome membership. So while that's still scanning and cutting for us, we're gonna go over here and I'm just gonna kind of reiterate just a little bit that I was talking about. So with our best value membership, yearly members not only get access to the amazing cut files that I talked about, over 3,000 of them for sure, um, or those amazing printable guides, or access to a members only Facebook group, but our yearly members on top of that. And we need to update this because we have over 300 fonts now, Becca. Mm -hmm. So we have over 300 fonts for those new amazing yearly memberships. Uh, membership holders. We also have free commercial licensing, meaning that uh, instead of like Cricut Access or if I was a monthly member with Makers and Learn, um, that means I could only make and sell, uh, or not sell, I could only make projects and you know have them for myself or I could give Becca something for her birthday, um, but I could not sell them. Well with the free commercial license we do give you guys, you are allowed to make and sell any projects you use using our cut files and fonts for your own profit just by being a yearly member which is amazing um, and then also we do have three free online classes that I say is incredible for newbies because it teaches you how to master your machine how to master the um, design space the software and then one for like uh, beginners who are getting a little bit advanced who want to build a business through die cutting so we do love those and this is my favorite thing to look at don't know how that happened I swear I didn't touch my thingy 
And this is my favorite thing to look at. I love to see all the scissors you get being a yearly member versus a monthly member and the price go down and the value go up. So I really enjoy that. So if you are not already a member of Makers Gonna Learn, join today because uh, we like to say if you enjoy the free content you see here, then you will absolutely adore the membership. So yay. Okay, so this is done cutting. Woohoo, easy peasy. I don't know why guys, this is the weirdest thing in the world. It said it was 100% done, but it didn't cut the bottom one for some reason. That's interesting. I know. Hmm. You wanna send that camera over, Rachel? I will. I'll show them. Look at this. Guys, can you tell? Can you tell? Look, it cut all of them but this one, but it said it was done, so I'm rolling with it. But anyways, here's all of our tags. Love them. Those are the finished ones that we have here. Same thing. So, on to the next pouch here. Um, I'll just make two for you guys today. So, I'm going to be doing this with our other pouch. Just kind of bending and folding for us. Easy peasy. Let me know what you guys are doing today. Let me know how crappy you're getting. Ooh. Uh-oh. So, is someone having trouble... With their machine, Man Becca? Yeah, Melanie just said that she doesn't do well with printing guides. And I said, does your machine need to be calibrated? Um, so guys, if you haven't calibrated your machine or if you are having um, issues with the print and cut and aren't sure how to calibrate, I just posted a link uh, to a YouTube video of uh, showing how to do calibrations. Yeah. Um, but Melanie, unfortunately, we have a machine that we have to calibrate for print and cut every single time we use it. That's so not it, an exaggeration. No, it, it's not. Literally every single time. Um, so it may be something wrong with your machine. You may want to call Cricut and tell them that your print and cut does not stay calibrated. Yeah, couldn't hurt, you know. Okay, got that one done. Look at split. It's amazing what you, how fast you are when you're not talking through it. But I love talking to you guys, for sure. Someone's trying to call me. That's... I don't know, someone from Clinton, Tennessee. I don't know anybody from Clinton. Spam. Oh no, I bet it's my, a warrant for my arrest. <laughs> That's always what they are. Or my extended car's warranty. You've not paid your student loans you didn't take. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, when did I attend college? <laughs> oh, so I wanna pop this one together. I'm gonna use the gold for this one to show you guys the difference between those, which I think is cute. So I'll make one of each. So get out our candies. I get this scoop that Becca got that has already saved my life. And guys, I did this one quickly. I do apologize for the very small imperfections in him. No one's perfect. Shocker, I'm still dropping them. You should have seen me when I was doing this first time. Becca was rolling. <laughs> I could not get these. Well, because they were here. This is the other studio that had like hardwood floors and they were just hanging everywhere. Oh, it was hilarious. I was cleaning them up for weeks. It was really something. I think I've overfilled him. He's okay. Okay, here's our other one. So we have a gold one and we have this one. Now, let me tell you what Rach Rach did that I wouldn't do. I'm gonna switch these. So um, I did it on both. Guys, I'm like a noob. Okay, so wherever you adhered is, you'll be able to see it. So like if you can see on this edge here, you can see where I adhered that. So I want my flaps to be straight though. So now what that means is I'm gonna have to open these flaps up and then shut them the other way because I don't want my flap slide to be poking out on this in the front. I'm just gonna, there they go. There they go. That one's definitely in the carpet. I'm gonna switch these around to make it look prettier because I do want the front to be more, more pretty. So now I just kind of switch those around. All I did was move the tabs. I think I did it on both. So I'm just gonna open one side, close the other side. Easy peasy, easy fix to that scenario there. Okay, now on to decorating. So again, guys, I have all of these different ribbons. Now what you'll need right now is your hot glue gun. I'm just gonna move my chair because our uh, camera is quite a bit not centered for us. So I'm gonna move over here. So we're just gonna decorate two of these today. And you need your hot glue gun, some scissors, and all of your pretty ribbon. Now, uh, the two that I'm gonna do is, I think I wanna do, this one here but i also really wanted to do this one but i only have i have a gold one and a white one so we'll have to think about that because i really want to do 
these two. These two are my favorite and I already cut out our enjoy. I'll just give you guys some pointers anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and do enjoy first. So for him, um, you can see I've just kinda uh, used different textures of ribbon on here and used our little enjoy. I'll bring you guys in just a little bit more for us too. So for this one, uh, we can go ahead and add our vinyl first. So let me go ahead and grab it. So here's your vinyl. And all we're going to do is burnish and then carefully peel that backing up. Just being super careful. Good fresh blade here is wanting to. There we go. And this will happen guys this is not the stickiest transfer tape in the world which is uh, why we honestly love it so much okay so we have our little enjoy now we're going to apply this to uh off to the side of here because we want to leave this side for our um ribbon and stuff so we're going to take this and it's kind of hard to do you guys are pretty far from me i'm going to bring it to me i'm sorry don't don't get mad i'm going to bring it back okay uh, that's pretty in the middle, um, and now once you have it in the middle, which I kind of just eyeballed it, I'm going to start in the middle and just use my fingers. Your fingers are the easiest thing to do. And it'll stick to this beautifully. Now I just peel this up. Easy peasy, guys. And now we used uh, this ribbon here. Then we used a little tiny strip of our Baker's twine here, and then we used a little tiny polka dotted ribbon so we have all of these but of course the first one is our blue one so here's what I did I flipped it over started on the back and then wrapped it around and left a little bit hanging off here so like a little bit extra so it stops right there but I'm gonna start uh, I'm gonna cut it about I don't know like a quarter of an, an inch over just like that and then I'm just gonna add some hot glue this is wired ribbon so it stays in place uh, pretty well I don't want to cover up any of my letters, so I'm going to check back again. Turn it around, add some hot glue there. There goes my hot glue. And lay that down. Now, right over top of it, I'll just take some more hot glue and apply it right there and attach this side down. Easy peasy, guys. So there is the first ribbon attached. Now you guys can add hot glue all over the front or however you want to. Um, it's really just personal preference. And then we're gonna take this guy, which is our little baker's twine. And there, for some reason, there's like, you can see how it frayed up to like this point. I'm just gonna cut that off where that had frayed at. I'm just gonna hold that with my finger. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue this little part down. I'm gonna add some hot glue there. Oh, got stuck, guy. And again, let me know if you guys have any questions about this. Um, let me know if you have an event you're wanting to make these for coming up. These would also be really cute for like a baby shower or a gender reveal party. You could have pink and blue. That'd be adorable. So we're, now that that's kind of dry just a little bit, we're just going to wrap this around. And before I even cut it, guys, with string is this tiny, I'm just going to add a little doll of hot glue there. And just wrap this around and let it dry in the hot glue before I even cut it. For some reason, it's just a little bit easier for me. So, I love that idea for the baby shower. It would be even cute to do, um, not necessarily a see-through plastic, but uh, something that you couldn't see through and then have oh. like confetti or something on the inside yeah. to do the gender reveal. Oh, that would be really cute, right? right? Kind of Super. make a popper out of it. Super cute. I love that. See? So, you don't just have to have a Cricut maker to do it, but Becca's already... Fill in your head with amazing little ideas. Yeah, do it with cardstock. Yeah, cardstock. Any kind of thicker cardstock would be good. Or you could do it uh, like really fun if you wanted to do a gender reveal and fill it with feathers, like Becca said. And you could do a really thin um, paper and then have just the colored feathers be inside, which would be adorable. Or colored confetti. What's that foil stuff that everyone hates? Yes. It's only good for confetti. Yes, <laughs> that would be perfect, guys. Gender reveal parties. It's one and only use. Here you go. <laughs> for real though, that is all that they're good for. Just gonna wrap <clears throat> this around. So you guys can see the whole process here is just mixing and matching your ribbons. 
Uh, a lot of you wouldn't think that two polka dot ribbons would be cute together or why I had gold in there. Like, I don't know if that would look good. It's all about just trying things out, guys. Mm -hmm. um, a ton of times I would just lay ribbon on top of each other and see how it looked before I even uh, chose to cut it. So I would kind of stack them and see how I liked them before I would even um, hot glue them on there just, just in case, just in case I didn't love the way it looked. So we have two of these, which I think are adorable. And the next one, I want to do one with a tag at least. I'll do this guy here. So as you can see, um, he is gold and I did him, I wrapped him the opposite way, which I think is good. So I did it this way using some different ribbon here. And then I actually did a trick with this ribbon. Uh, this is just tied in a knot and I actually slipped or tag underneath it and then hot glued it right there. Um, just because for some reason I cannot make a beautiful bow after it's like tied in something. That might just be a personal problem. <laughs> So if you guys can, please do. So I'm gonna make this one too. So you're gonna need one of our adorable little tags that we made here. And then uh, we get to use one of these beautiful uh, decorative trims here. I think this is gorgeous. Again, this was from Hobby Lobby, all of this was. And then we have our Baker's twine again. That stuff is coming super handy. And I think we actually had it there. I'm pretty sure that someone bought that for Christmas, which mm -hmm. was awesome. Mm -hmm. So here is our bare gold one. And we're just gonna we're just gonna start so we're gonna flip it over add some hot glue right in the center here and i'm just gonna add this guy right there he is beautiful this is probably my favorite thing that i found there this pretty trim and you wouldn't think to use it for something like this but you totally can and it comes with quite a bit in it um so you just was it on a roll a spool a roll yeah it was just on this oh, little sorry um, i did not see it let me see oh no, you're fine I love that brand. They do some awesome lacy trimmings. So you get 2.73, wait down, no. three yards. Three yards. You get three yards of it. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm starting to rant off little percentages. You're like, what's happening? 2.7. 2.78 meters, what? Yeah, I don't know guys, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just hot gluing this down. This one's super cute. And then we have this one as well, which looks good on the white ones. This is the same thing, except it's just darker. Love that. And now I'm just going to trim this after I give it just a second to dry. Now I do like to use this stuff a bit more sparingly. So if you were having a party where you had a ton of different colors, it'd be great to do different ones and not just all of them the same. Uh, that way you could kind of have more variety and you wouldn't have to pay so much money to have them look all the same because some of this material is more expensive than others like this stuff right here that we made with this which is one of my favorite ones um it wasn't that cheap and you didn't get a ton of it so you wouldn't necessarily be able to make a ton like that unless you kind of forked out some dough um so again i hot glued that just right there just wrapping it around super cute i don't love that it kind of hides the design there but i do love the way it kind of peeks out on that pink and looks super cute so i can handle that add more hot glue there's nothing like not having a cord on your hot glue i think me and becca both did not think we would love this hot glue gun as much as we do yeah I, it's amazing I was like, it's this just is... so cute and honestly like i know that doesn't matter it doesn't doesn't affect its uh, usefulness. Yes, it or, does. But it's, <laughs> it, it makes me happy. <laughs> yes, no, it's adorable. I love it. Um, okay, so we're about at the end of this one. This one's gonna be super easy uh, to do. So uh, here's what we're doing on this one. I'm actually gonna glue this down. I'm gonna add a little dollop there. There goes my hot glue again. Twist it up here. Cause that gold likes to fall off of there for some reason. Add that to our hot glue. And I'm gonna wrap this around several times. And guys, looking at this thing, I think I even made, I totally did. I think I just wrapped it around several times and then I made the bow. And like the, the bow part was separate. So I wrapped this around several times and then made the bow on the front with like a whole nother piece of this yarn which I, which is hilarious you know like i probably added steps that didn't have to be added but hey that's fine so now i'm going to go in here and i'm going to kind of add a strip around all of these to kind of secure them all in place and that strip of hot glue will also keep those in place that i 
just stuck down. So I'm just so impatient with this hot glue, guys. Can hot glue just dry fast, please? No, I'm joking. I know it dries pretty fast, anyways. I'm just super impatient with my hot glue. Dry, buddy, dry. I don't even. Oh, this is a high temp one too. She hot, guys. I I don't even have. I don't even have fingerprints. I had to get fingerprint a couple weeks ago. Don't even have them. Don't even have fingerprints. I didn't commit a crime. I know y'all <laughs> are gonna ask. Not this month. I'm doing better. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna add a little bow. I think that's how I did it. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna add this bow to be layered. So I'm gonna come out a bit and show you guys what I mean by that. So I'm gonna cut two strips out of this here. I've got one little strip there. And I'll pull another strip the same length relatively. And now I'm going to tie them as a bow like together. So here's what it looks like. All you're going to do, I've showed you guys how to make a bow before. We're going to add a loop here just like that. And then we're going to add another loop with our other fingers. <laughs> What? Stephanie said, won't that be hard to open? It sure will, Stephanie. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. Stephanie, think, just think about it. Like, do you want it easy or do you want it beautiful? <laughs> you know? Easy, breezy, beautiful. That's mm -hmm. it's us. So I've got my two loops. Okay. Now, to go watch my other bow video. I've decided. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> Go watch my other bow video, guys. I'm not redoing this, and I know you guys can't see it. Ta-da! Okay. Look at that, Rachel. Stop! <laughs> yeah. So, he's magical. So, I think he's adorable. Look look how cute. There's your little bow. I love him. Um, I just whipped him right up. So, not redoing that either. But it's it's easy peasy if you guys could see my, my tiny phalanges at work here. So I'm gonna just trim the little bottoms off of there. And now, we're gonna do this in parts. So the next part is to uh, just kinda hot glue this guy just up and under there, right there, all, all nonchalant like. Um, and then I'm gonna hot glue this right there just to give it like the, the ending little finishing touch. It's just so hard for me to, to um, for some reason, to attach a bow to things. And apparently, um, I might be the only one with that problem, but that's okay. Please do this a different way. That I highly doubt you're the only one with that problem. I, I, sometimes I feel like I don't see a lot of hands raised in the comments. They're probably like, Rachel's flipping crazy. <laughs> so if I am, I'm sorry. Now I'm going to add hot glue to my bow here, just a little bit, and then add it right where I would have been able to tie it. And I'm going to hold it for a second. I move this. I'm going to come in a little bit so I can show you guys. So, whoa, not out, whoa, in. I'm gonna show this one off a little bit. So here's the one I made. Well, I made this one too, but here's the one I made earlier. And then here's the one I made just now. So it's super cute. I really love the colors. I wish there was more light on the table to where you guys could see it better as well. Um, along with this one and our little enjoy one, I made this guy. Do a quick shot of all of them yeah. at the end because we have several viewers who have just stepped sure. in. Okay, um, well guys, yeah. welcome, hello. This is an amazing live stream. Please rewind it and watch this amazing uh, project unfold. It's been awesome. Uh, this one was using this beautiful little uh, string here and then our little green piece, which I loved. And then we just used, if you guys can see, a tiny piece of that baker's twine to attach our little tag on that we showed you guys how to print and cut. Loved him. And then I think our last one was super simple. I just wanted to show you guys kind of all the different uh, trim that we had so i made this one that's just a super easy one uh for that so let me go ahead and like becca wanted me to do just make a little little kind of collage guy of these so here's all of them so we have uh four different uh of these cute little pillows here we have gold and white although you guys could again we mentioned doing uh, all different colors if you wanted to these are six slits that are like chocolate but you guys can use a ton of different things we kind of gave some examples of that um, but again layering your ribbon uh, how you know how you think is pretty putting some words on there is super cute if you want to as well i personally adore the tags the little thanks tag
bags I think are my favorite. I, I think, uh, yeah. And they're the easiest. I mean, what a 10 <clears throat> on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper mm -hmm. uh, fit perfectly. So. And you didn't you have know. to do anything. I mean, the. No, the it maker cut the did hole and everything. That. Yes, yeah. it cut the hole. Just, just right here, look. It cut everything. If I peel that guy up, it's. He's ready to go. And this one was probably the easiest to do, guys. And it's my favorite. I just really love that one. So that is all our little pillows. Um, please let me know if you guys have um, any questions. And David29, we do not do any any of that here. Um, we'll have to, um, what's it called? We'll have to just make you shoo shoo. Uh, we can't do that, sorry. Um, Anyways, yeah, these are so cute. So I love these. Um, I don't know, Becca. Which one's your favorite? Ah, uh, it's hard. It is hard. hard. No, it is hard. I do. It's I hard. really do like the one with the greenery because yeah. I I add greenery so to everything. Cute. It's so um, cute. I but I really one. like the one with the turquoise and the and joy on it. Yeah, love I don't him. know. He's I easier love... to see in person too. I know the camera doesn't pick it up. You can read this easy. Like you know what that says. It's yeah. not crazy. Yeah. Um. But again, depending on your party, oh, no, you can use they're so colors. cute. Thank you. I love these. I think the most expensive thing was the dang candy. So if you can find cheaper candy, that's the good. Find some cheaper candy. Um, we did not get to use this guy um, really in any of these. I just wanted to show this because I thought it was so cool. They have this in green, this pink, and white, which I thought would be really pretty. But guys, do not underestimate the little ribbon aisles at. Hobby Lobby at your local craft store. They could have hidden gems like this gorgeous trend that I want to use on basically everything. Um, yeah, just look around and see what you can find to get inspired. Um, again, Makers Gonna Learn is an amazing community that you guys would uh, love to be a part of. The Facebook group we don't talk enough about is what our members say. We have over 5,000 crafty members there that are just lifting each other up and answering questions and showing their projects and asking everyone how they're doing. It's, it's amazing. It's like a family, you know? Um, so become a part of that today. Click the link in the description below or the link that Becca has been popping in throughout the live stream. But let me know any last minute questions. I know we ran late. Sorry about that. Um, but you can't rush craftiness. I was gonna say perfection and then laugh, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be that way. We can't rush craftiness. You have to just take your time, especially if you're doing these for something, for an occasion, for a party. You have to be intentional about creating them all uh, with love or else you're gonna get to your hundredth one and it's gonna look like crap. And we can't have that. So, back is like, <laughs> yep. Oh, so yeah, let me know if you have any any questions? I don't think so, though. Becca, 10 minutes. Man, 10 minutes. Me yeah. and Becca leave at 3, which is crazy. We usually get out of here at like, or we usually get done with our lives at 2.30, so sorry, guys, but I hope you've enjoyed it. They um, did enjoy it. We had 454 people viewing. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. I should have been on my best behavior. <laughs> no, I'm I think that's why they were viewing. Oh, probably. They like it when you're not. <laughs> guys, I reply to comments and someone's like, Rachel is so honest. And I'm like, oh gosh, was I mean? Like I think about what I said and I'm like, was I rude or something? Um, a dab of epoxy. Carol, that unfortunately falls into the realm of having to wait for it to dry so long. Um, you might not even be talking about this project. She wanted us to paint our, our desk because there's a chip there. And I said, basically, oh. that we would just be painting it every day if we were worried about that because we craft yeah. and we, we treat these tables bad because uh, we're crafters. And then, guys, I'm not even kidding. When we try and treat it good, a month goes by and somehow it looks just as bad as if we did not care at all about the table. It's true. But when we get a fresh top, that's what we call them. When we get a fresh top around here, we try and baby it. After the live streams, we'll be scrubbing it with uh, Clorox wipes and trying to get it clean. I think it's sort of like, you know, you wouldn't want to go to a, a mechanic whose hands were like just super, super clean. Here she goes. Are just, they, you know, are they even, are they even a good mechanic? How much work do they do? If our smocks yeah. are just perfectly I have paint crisp, and crap all over then my guess smock. what? We, we're probably not good crafters, you know? Same goes for our table. We, um, we're being slightly dramatic. We're, well, <laughs> we have, a, we have our, our nice, lovely used craft table and eventually we'll get a new top. Eventually. But guys, eventually. I'm telling you, if we, I wish we had kept the same top. The, like the first one that we changed because we had we didn't change them for a, so long it was awful I mean, so many rolls of paint yeah. so many and then joseph 
we were trying to cut corners, guys. Our mistake. Um, we were trying to cut corners with cost. So instead of buying a whole new tabletop from Ikea, which is $80, um, Joseph just sawed a little piece of plywood and threw it on here. And let me tell you, me and Becca, our sides, our shirts, they, he didn't put any, like, what do you call it? Like the, like the penny molding. Yeah, like the put edge. It. So it was just like raw wood on the edges. I would just absolutely gash my leg open. Becca's shirts were ruined. We were like, something's got to give. <laughs> I ended up putting painter's <laughs> tape around it. Yeah, like putting painter's tape. So listen, guys, we try for you. If we didn't love you all, and if we weren't thankful for you all so much, we would not try nearly as hard as we did. So I personally want a tabletop that's just like covered in like all the remnants, like yep. like glitter glue and and, and let me tell you, splatters when and all you that wipe this stuff. table down, the Clorox wipe comes off clean. Yeah, it's just the table. I swear, I swear we clean it. Anyways, could you use a large mat, Patricia? You could. You could use a large mat if you totally wanted to. Um, I don't know why you can't cut that large with the craft plastic or anything unless you find larger craft plastic. Uh, Linda, this is actually, um, screen print. Neither. Yeah. It's screen printing. So I created a bunch of these, um, for a video that you guys will see. Oh my gosh. I think you all will see it in June. Oh, I can't believe we're that ahead. I'm proud of us. Mm -hmm. I'm proud. Anyways, you're going to see this soon. I show, show you guys how to screen print, how to screen print with your Cricut, how to make your own screen printing frame. I kind of go all out. It's impressive, guys. I was a little intimidated when she brought it in and was doing it. I was like, oh my gosh, this Becca is amazing. Yeah. It was like me when Becca was doing Shrinky Dinks. I was just like, <laughs> what? You know? But thank, thank Courtney, our creative director, who comes up with all of all of these kind of video ideas because I'd be like, I ain't doing that. <laughs> but it was a challenge that I overcame that I absolutely loved and I want to make more because mm -hmm. I love wearing these out. People are like, what's that? I'm like, let me tell you, because it's my job and I love it. But anyways, yes, this is screen printing. Uh, thank you for asking. Um, yeah, so tune in with us again tomorrow, guys. We're going to be doing more fun, crafty things. Uh, Tanner again. will be here. Huh? Tanner. Tanner's Tan going to be here. Tanner will be here. Yes, Tanner will be. I thought you said Anna, and I was like, Anna's coming? No. Uh, Becca's twin. No. Okay, well, I was excited to see Anna, but whatever. Okay. We should get her to do one, though. We should. That'd yeah. be fun. She was here on Black Friday, if you guys saw her. Um, yes, Susan, this, this logo might be coming at you sooner Real than you soon. think. Okay, guys, <laughs> I will see you later. Please have a wonderful, great rest of your day and stay safe, guys. Bye.